all right everyone welcome back to another video so uh i've got a lot to do in this video uh firstly i suppose let's just quickly talk about my new sexy look if you haven't uh, seen already i've got this 130 bow which is big shout out to a guy called Knox on the server really nice guy helped me out and uh him and the missus gave me the dbs i needed to upgrade this bow so yeah lovely 130 bow have a look at that beauty I love it. I love the way the 130 bow looks. Absolutely amazing. All right, so some of the things I want to do on this video is I want to try and two sock my bow, and I also want to level up some archers. So um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do in this video. Currently now, just trying to spam some mets. I want to get into the habit of just spamming as many mets as possible. Um, just whenever I get them, any free mets. If I don't need them, spam away and then uh, never know. Whenever you're spamming me, it's always best to have a scroll with you. So that, that way, if you do um, get a sock, at least you can scroll away. And sadly, I haven't got anything yet. Yeah. I'm yet, on this server, I'm still yet to have any, uh, to get any buckets or anything. So. Yeah, all right, let's go have a look in the uh, market. We've got this one sock axe, which we don't need. We've got a bomb, a dragon gem. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with that. All right, that's fine. What I like as well, actually, about the server is have a look. So you've got a, two red name players there, and there are actually a lot of red name players on this server. And I think one of the things that adds to that is the fact that, you know, when you're max, when you have max 130, I remember. When Conqueror Retail was just originally max 130, people would just PK like crazy and it didn't matter because obviously when you die, you don't lose any XP or anything, right? So when they increased it up to 137 and then you was like level 132 and you was 40%, you really don't want to go around PKing anyone, right? Because, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> if you get killed being max um, or with uh, level 132, 40%, you're going to lose like five, six, seven percent, and that's going to take you months to get it back. So, everyone kind of became a little bit cautious, and uh, then they started like lock you was able to lock your gear and stuff like that. So, that wasn't great at all. Look at this, I can't even, <laughs> in case you can't tell, um, I've got instead of having the blue menu, I'm now using the brown menu to give you the option when you play this game. So, one thing that's just a bit weird is over here, you can't actually see the buttons very well. That's the button for up, that's the button for down. I'll show you what I mean in terms of... So this is the old brown menu, which... I don't know if you guys would... Rem I mean, most of you guys should remember. But then you've also got here... The standard blue menu. It's a bit loud, that. This is the standard blue menu that I'm sure we're all comfortable with and used to. I've now suddenly started playing with the brown menu. I don't know why. It's a bit buggy. Uh, but yeah, it's alright. I'm not a big fan of the text, but what I really like, I'm just, I'm getting distracted now, bloody hell. I don't like this menu system down here, but I'll show you what I really, really like. This is nice. Oh, and I'm now VIP. I decided to buy VIP on this archer as well. Look at that. You see the, the hit, the hit marker. It's really nice. Look at that. That looks good, doesn't it? I wonder if I can, if I can compare it to the blue one but yeah that that hit marker there is really nice look at that <laughs> i don't know why i just love it it's brilliant and look at my uh kill counter down here as well it looks cool anyways back to market so we're trying to um i'm gonna try and look for some dbs buy some dbs and i also want to buy a super dragon gem as well Now, someone in the guild did mention that they were selling DBs. I should probably message them, but I don't really feel like a lot of um, a lot of guys in the server have been really nice to me, really helped me out, giving me a giving me a bunch of stuff for free and stuff like that, bunch of advice and tips. So I really don't want to get too much help, especially because. I don't play that much as well. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to reciprocate the help back, which uh, sucks. So, yeah, instead of getting a, a discount from a guildie, 
We're going to try and buy it at full market price value. Um, so I'm looking for the Super Dragon Gem and uh, BBs. I believe an STG is uh, 800k or around 1 million, if I'm not mistaken. Is that a poison ball? No. No, normal. Okay. The good thing I, uh, one thing I do really like about the server is the market. Like, when I check market, there's always uh, a lot going on. A lot of different sellers selling a lot of different stuff. We got oh, a refined rainbow gem. Interesting. Refined fury for 1 million. I've had a refined fury. I've still got it in my um, warehouse. I've had it up for 50k and it won't sell. Or a what? A refined one for a million. Bloody hell, man. This person's a noob. All right, uh, let's continue. Oh, and if you can't see, I'm now in a guild, so I'm in hit list. And to be honest, a lot of what I've said previously about the server's um, guilds is now inaccurate. So I apologize for that. Someone actually corrected me in the comments, which uh, I should let me just quick, just quickly find it. I get distracted a lot. I apologize. Mm. Go to comments. And then. Okay, here you go. Oh, this is actually Rotty. I've uh, spoken to him quite a bit in game, actually. But he said the drop rate in City Wars is not a shared thing for all archers. It may have been in the past, but City Wars are very competitive and Hitler's versus Exodus is a real rivalry, just like the old days. So. Basically, I was complaining previously about how uh, when I started playing this server, which was in August 2019, um, there, was, there, wasn't, there wasn't really any guilds. There was just like one guild which all the artists joined, which is called City Wars, and they had all bonus rates for the maps. It was just a super weird situation, and I complained about it loads. It's like, make the game competitive, man. What's the point in the whole server collaborating together? Doesn't make any sense. Um, all right, so no one's selling any DBs, which is uh, sucks for me because I'm not going to be upgrading my bow. When I say upgrading my bow as well, what I mean is uh, um, getting a two sock because it's just weird, right? Like, who has a level 130 one sock bow? <laughs> so, yeah, I need uh, I don't know if it's four DBs or five DBs. I need, I believe it's five. But it may be four. Maybe it's five dBs total. So one dB to get one sock. And then uh, four dBs to get two sock. I can go check in BI. Um, last guy. Common Zoro. Oh, look. One sock boots for 45kk. One sock ring as well. Mm, that's interesting. So I almost have enough to buy a one, a one sock item. And that's just from mining. Although, actually, some people did give me some gold. Okay, so that sucks. We don't have enough to get uh, any DBs. So, I mean, not even enough. There's just no one selling DBs. So it may be worth me... Um, it may be worth uh, me, mess me reaching out to the guys in guild. The so DBs, as far as I've seen, are 4.2 million, right? So times that by, I think I need five. That's 21 million. Or maybe, I think it might be more than that. Let's say it's 4.6 4 million. Times that by five. 23 million. Hmm. All right. Uh, one second. Just need to check. I am actually still recording. Yes. I think I mess around with my settings. Oh, go. Oh. Messed around with my settings earlier. All right. Uh, should I reach out to Guild now? It's a bit. What time is it? It's four thirty in the morning right now on a Sunday morning. So I'm guessing no one's on. Um, do do do. Should we just say what to World Chat? So what did that? What did we say? Twenty three million for four point six kk. Okay, let's check how many DBs we need. Because I'm VIP, I can teleport around, which is nice. The Bird Island. 
You can only teleport every 30 seconds. Uh, it's not blacksmith guy, it's artisan. Make a socket in my weapon. Give me a dragon ball. Please click your right hand. Uh, has the socket so weird? Okay, so if yes, five dragon balls will be charged. Cool. Hmm. Okay. I really would like to, to put a socket in it, man. I really would. Look at that. Like, I can almost one hit them, right? Is that, am I right? Oh, look at that. Yes, I can almost one hit them. So maybe another socket would do it. Um. Okay, what I'll do is I'll, I'll level the archers, right? And then let's just ask in guild now if anyone's got DBs. Uh, anyone got any DBs I can buy? Okay, so let's get, uh, this guild's quite cool, actually. I've, from what I've seen, everybody in the guild is super sound. And I don't mean that in the sense that, like, you know, when you join the guild, that they're super sound with you. And this is, The guild's hit list, by the way. But what I mean is that when I've been playing, a lot of the guys that have just been messaging me, like when I've been in um, TG, you know, I'm just AFK, right? And they just message me out of nowhere. Or the guys that have been, um, uh, the guys that have just been helping me when I've just been playing randomly. Like, I'm just going around, jumping around. They're like, oh, by the way, do this, do do that. Or instead of doing this or whatever. Look, someone, someone's what, uh, messaged me already. Nice. I need to, uh, do sock my bow. I need five. Um, yeah, so even before I joined the guild, I found that it was mostly the guys on this, in this guild that were helping me out. So yeah, if you're going to, if you're going to join the server, try and get in hit list. There are, from what I can see, really sound people. Okay, so we're going to try and level my miners. And then, um, so I've got a few miners. My main miner is Hitman here. So let's um, go to TC. What I want to do is basically the plan with the miners is currently he's 50, level 58. I want to get him up. I want to get all my miners up to level 70 and then stick them in um, in DC mine. So at the moment, like just there, I had three gold ores and I'd been mining for about two hours. So, you know, I'm not, I'm hardly getting anything. Uh, Project Mayhem goes, how much are they worth? Uh, I genuinely don't know, but I think between 4.2 KK and 4.7 KK. I saw a scroll for 47 KK earlier, which is true. I did see a scroll for 47 KK. I actually don't know how much they're worth as well um yeah so instead of just getting free gold ores every hour the plan is to actually um to leave the miners in dc and then get obviously a lot more gold that way so just need to get them to level 70 which for that we're going to go to bird island so let's um uh what should i do bird island go this way So 4.5 kk should be fine i guess um yeah all good with me you got five all right one second so uh what's the price for five uh five times four five zero 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 twenty two point five million Twenty two five 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 zero. See why very much. 
any chance you have a SDG? Okay, I've got a refined Super Dragon Gem myself, so... Um... Alright, let's go to Bird Island. Okay, so BI. Let's fly, because I don't want to get whacked. And then Artisan. Look at my weapon. Here's a Dragon Ball. I'm ready. Five Dragon Balls. Boom! There we go. Woohoo! We're two sock. We got a two sock bowl, people. Alright, oh, feels good, man. Alright, so I definitely have a refined dragon gem somewhere. No worries. Thanks. My bow is now two sock. Uh, Dark should have some though. I don't know who Darks is. Okay, so let's stick. Um, there's this guy. Where is she? Oh, okay. We'll whisper him. Uh oh wait, Nox is online. Okay. This is the guy that helped me out loads. Um Um Made my bow to suck. This guy's well, he lives right next to me and it's uh four thirty in the morning. I don't know why he plays so much late at night. Crazy like me. So he doesn't have any SDGs. You're asking why he doesn't sleep either. Gonna ask uh, Darks first. He's the guy. Yo, Darks, I'm told you're the guy for SDGs. Can I buy one off you if you have one spare? And you see what I mean? Like, you know, everybody is just super friendly. So, you know, the archer, damn, I forgot her name. Who helped me out? Are you pandering, TG? Yeah. That's going to be my troll eventually. So I've got this uh, water here. And um, basically what I've done, I've just got it on Nyx, Nyxing this, even though it's just a level 55 water, the plan is to basically leave it in um, PG, just have it Nyxing, and just probably leave it there for, I don't know, until I'm ready to try and level up the Trojan. Uh, or level up the water, get it to, uh, what do you call it, level 130, reborn it into a Trojan, then I've got a water troll. Um Hope you're setting well into the guild. Yeah, man. Everyone's great. Much. Um, okay. So, uh, I've messaged that. Okay, it's Project Mayhem that recommended. Um, I think he's... He's AFK. I'll ask in guild chat. <laughs> yeah man uh, like I said I think people in this guild are just straight up cool man 
Uh, okay, so let's ask anyone got a STG I can buy. Okay, so whilst we're waiting to see if anyone's got an STG, let's stick um, my refined one in, in there. Oh, I've got a bunch of refined ones. So I think STGs are 15%, right? So refined is 10%. It's still something, right? Yeah. Put a dot in front. Oh, yes. True, true, true. This is another cool thing. So basically, you can chat to um, your ally guilds, right? That aren't in the same... Uh, okay. This guy said he's got one. Nice. Thanks. Uh, I'm in market. Uh, how much? Okay, so someone... Sicario? I don't know. I assume it's not going to be more than a million, so I'm alright with that. Let's just get a million and then whatever he wants, give it to him. Uh, okay, so we're waiting for Sicario. I said that he's got one. Okay, so Sakari said he has one. Alright, so while we're waiting for this guy, let's... Um, wait, didn't I get a refined dragon gem out? Or have I put it back? Okay, so anyways, the plan is to... We've got Hitman there, so let's get our other... Uh, so these are all just, I believe, level 15, level 17 uh, water tails, or just tails, so. Sicario, Sicario, Sicario. Can't see anyone around here called Sicario. Hasn't said yet. Uh, not gonna be more than 1kk, right? I'm not really bothered about, you know, saving two, three hundred K here or there. You know, whether it's 800 K or 1 KK, I'm not bothered. If you're buying in mass, then obviously it makes a difference. But just buying one Dragon Ball, so oh, Dragon Ball, one uh, Dragon Gem. Vending shop first row. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's a woman. <laughs> nice. T-Y, T-Y. k k Or 800k. Nice, okay. So, we've got a Super Dragon Gem now. So, let's go again to PC, aren't we? That's cool, right? I'm well excited. I'm sure... I went to her stall in market the first time around. I didn't see those gems. Maybe I missed it. Uh, okay, so Phoenix Castle. Let's fly because we don't want to get whacked. Man, you know, people on this on this server are super nice. When I used to play... Wait, can I take off my bow in the air? I mean, when I was a kid playing this game, like, you know, I was a teenager and I was very keen on, like, dominating people and being super aggressive. And so, um, I'd wait sometimes, like if I was playing on my archer or something, I'd wait with my Trojan, just have it lugged off here. And if I see, you know, someone talking about whatever in world chat, but you know, buying five dragon gems, it's obvious they're going to two sock something or whatever, just <laughs> log in and try and kill him. Proper evil stuff, man. Um, I think I only really got noob stuff out of it. All right. Let's just show off my bow to Noxious.
Uh, thanks to you. Cool. Okay, so now I think... I think I can one-hit Birdman, fi Birdman finally, right? So... Oh, no. Sadly, no. Okay, well, that's fine. All right, so let's go to the mine and give our miners uh, the scroll. And then... Um, okay, so we're going to go to PC. All right, so this is an interesting point. He's saying to get... Um, a socket archer coat. I saw one in market for 10kk. So I saw a unique archer coat for 10kk and I considered it. But then I was thinking, you know, I've already got, so I've got a level, um, there you guys, I've got a level here, Tony. I've got a level 121 archer here. All right. Basic gear kind of thing. And the plan with this is basically, I, I've just left it in TG and I'm thinking I can reborn, um, I could reborn this archer, drinkable panda into an archer again, and then just get the, the, the coat. And then also I could spam Mets on all this gear and hopefully sock it. Although you're unlikely to sock it, um, super gear, aren't you? Yeah. At least I could, I could get the coat. Alright, let's uh, get these dudes over here to Bird Island. Um, oh, I'm so dumb. Yeah, actually, you know what you could do? You could do... Um, you could basically request power leveling. And then what that will do is it will teleport you to whoever's got a team going. Oh, it's just got a dragon gem. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, Alright, uh, let's get Drinkable Panda over to... Bird Island. Cool. And then we got Hitman at the bottom right. But, um, the kind. So, invite, invite, invite. Team follow. Yep. Team follow. I definitely, I look, the for the blue one, the colors is obviously better, right? But um, I just I, I do really enjoy the old one as well. Uh, what's going on here? Hello. I was thinking that. So he's saying 10kk is too much. I was thinking that uh, 10kk was too high. I have the level 121 archer, so I could reborn this account and then level it with the other archer. Now the only thing is I, I wouldn't have a good bow because this bow is now level 130, but that's alright. Or to just wait in market for a uh, decent price on sort of coat okay so let's walk down to the corner um i believe these accounts oh actually i've kind of just made a big mistake here because what i've just realized they should get like double exp um from like you have like a bag that you get um when you start, when you can open it every five levels. But I think those actually have a double EXP pot inside them. Um, actually, interestingly enough, I just bought my first Bitcoin today. And I'll tell you the reason why, or I'll show you. Uh, basically, when you donate, you can pay via PayPal, right? But then you can also pay via Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, any of them. And then uh, the GM of the server, or the owner of the server, basically, will give you a 20% discount if you pay in cryptocurrency. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get VIP for all these miners. 
when they're in um when they're in DC, the DC mine. And so it makes sense to go over twenty percent discount because I think the price goes from like uh I think forty five dollars to thirty six dollars or something. All right, here's Hitman. Here we go. Team. Okay, so I think all these accounts, yeah, they don't have the bag on them. Um, okay. I could go back to TC. All right, let's do it. Let's just quickly go back to TC then. Oh, wait, no, it's long. It's worth it though, because you've got the double EXP. Uh, I think they level quite slow here in Hawkins. So yeah, look, only level 19. Ah, go on. Let's just carry on. Oh, oh, actually, I can show you guys something really nice, which again, Nox and uh, his missus just showed me this auto clicker. So now, actually, I realized all my auto clickers weren't working because I wasn't open them in administrator rights or privilege, whatever. So you have to like right click it. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right click, come to here, right click, and then go run as administrator. When you do that, then you can have the auto clicker work on the game. So now, if I show you, I press Control H here, and then I've lifted my hand off of the mouse, and now it's holding Control for me, and left clicking and right clicking at the same time, which is just beautiful, right? That's just perfect. Oh look, we got a plus one long hammer. Not sure what else is going on there. Oh, these noobs are going to get killed, man. Okay, so let's... Because I want to, I still want to control the mouse. So let's make it so that it only right clicks for me. And then go there. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that they're leveling quite slow. It doesn't help that I don't want to hit them, right? But it's just the time it takes to transfer noobs around is ridiculous. Maybe Hawk King stack would be best, but I think I leveled in Hawk King and it took an hour and they still only got to level 70 then. What's this? A wand. It's probably two socket or something. Let's turn off my auto clicker because I don't want to. Uh, two socket level 85 wand. I actually found earlier today um, a two sock level 10 uh, blade plus one. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's collect some gold. We need some gold, people. Uh, so that dark's now responded to me. Oh no! Did you just did you just kill my? I oh, killed my noob. Oh man! No worries. Um. Yeah, I, I got got one. No. From Sicario. Thanks, though. I heard. You're the guy for SDGs, so I'll definitely holler. Uh, once I get um a one sock coat. Okay, so we need to get our new back now. Um, probably the best thing to do is to walk back to BI, and then rev it right. Okay, um, wait, oh yeah, I forget, I, I have an auto clicker now. No, no, <laughs> come on, man. Noobs are just getting pawned. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Okay, 
maybe the auto click is not the best in this situation because it's right clicking and really what i need to do there when once one spawns like that is to left click what are you on bro i'll kill you why are you trying to what's this kid on I was going to kill him first, but all right. Um, what are we doing here? I like that. You know, I, I love that. I love the fact that someone would try and kill my noob. It's brilliant. I think it's just, um, it makes the game, man. You know, I, I really, I want enemies and I want friends. He tried to kill it and then go into market. He's no way he's gonna be able to kill my um my warrior, but definitely these noobs. All right, um, okay, so we need to go into the city and then rev the noobs. Here he is again. Go on, a noob. He can't even hit. Bloody bent. Come on. Come on. You suck, bro. You can't even hit some walking noobs. Alright. Now, let's uh, rev these dudes. And uh, team, okay, let's carry on. So, um, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Probably the best way to go about this is to get my Trojan, stack it in um, PC in Hawk King's Cave, and do it all there. Because this is slow anyways, just from the angle of walking around as well. Look at that bugger, he ran straight for me. <laughs> These Hawk Kings are crazy, man. What are they on? They're going for the noobs big time. Leave them alone, man. Come for me. I'm the one hitting you. Bloody hell. Yeah, it's gonna have to be PC, isn't it? Yeah, so um, I I do I get a lot of uh, people messaging me, and so if you are watching this video and you're not playing this server or you just started this server, um, yeah, feel free to message me. But honestly, probably your best bet is to message one of the guys that are actually in Hitlist. I know I'm playing on YouTube, so it seems like I know what I'm doing, but trust me, I got no idea what I'm doing, and so um, I get probably like two messages a day from people saying that they've joined the server uh and i'm mostly afk if i'm honest with you so yeah sorry when because what happens is i then wh i whisper you guys back but then you're obviously offline because i'm seeing it like four hours later so um if you join the server you know play try and get yourself into hit list uh the, this guild is a really cool guild if not just message the guys on it they honestly really sound people so yeah, but trust me when I say that I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm mostly just being helped out by other people and mostly TG'd my way to where I'm at now. Okay, no noobs have died. Also, you guys can try to talk to the GM. The, I haven't spoken to him since like 2019, which is when I first started playing. I blacked out there. My TV has like some sort of voltage problem. I feel like when there's a voltage spike or something, it cuts out. 
annoying reset anyways um yeah the gm i haven't spoken to him you know for a year and a half but when i was when i did speak to him even when i was like kind of a bit like aggressive and stuff really sound you know mild uh proper civil type of guy proper like the, i'd say the perfect personality to be a gm and even someone was telling me uh i'll show you this mad comment actually Basically, I played on some other private server. I can't remember the name of it. And the GM there was nuts, man. Like, I didn't even speak to the GM, but just by looking at the rules, you know, he was like, ban you for swearing, you know, lifetime ban <laughs> for swearing in world chat and uh, speaking another language in world chat, lifetime ban and just some crazy stuff, man. Uh, using an auto clicker, lifetime ban, whatnot. So, yeah, this GM on this server, not like that at all. Proper, proper sound guy. So, if you, you know, need help or whatever, there's a Discord which you can jump on. You can talk to him. And then also, he's usually just sitting in TC as well. So, the guy's name is Noyori, Norai, Noyori. I don't know. But it's spelled like, I'll show you how it's spelled. N-Y-O. I don't even know what now. Like that, maybe? Noyori. <laughs> I'm not sure now. I don't know. I should yeah i was i would say remind me i can't wait until i'm actually streaming and i actually have uh you guys in the chat because i knew i really need reminding whilst i'm playing these games oh nox is saying come back uh oh don't die don't die don't die does he mean mark it okay now um what's he trying to do is, is he trying to okay i think he's trying to get me a a one sock um armor which uh if he does do i need to give him money for it because he might try and give it to me for free uh i'm gonna chuck him 5kk that's what i'm gonna do even though he's probably gonna try and give it back to me um come on noobs can we make it this is a dangerous part to be walking around in don't die yes don't die yes i think we made it back to safe land i have a bodyguard you have a bodyguard all right um okay so i need uh okay no they're probably not safe here let's take them inside So, let me find here. Um, now we just need to just, like, I don't know, jump or something. So they lose. Like, oh, these are some persistent noobs, man. <laughs> I didn't know they could follow you that much. Uh, have they stopped? Yeah, they all stopped. Oh, look, this guy actually made it all down here. Um, oh, wait, let's get money out quickly. He tries to... Um, Cannibal. Yeah, decent. Alright, so he's saying cannibal to troll, but a good guy. I like trolls and good guys. Um Okay. Wait, he asked me to come here, right? What do what do you want me to do? What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. What's he doing? I don't know what he wants me to do. Call me what you need. Call me by any name. Uh... 
Uh, okay. I don't know what's going on here. Charles Knox, what am I doing? He said one second. No worries. Uh, okay. So. Um. Do, 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 do. So, let's check what level everyone is. So, 31. 32. Yeah, it's a slow grind, isn't it? 59. This guy's only got one level the whole time. But, yeah. Great. Look at this sick guy, man. <laughs> Why is he giving me super boots? Nah, man. I don't need the super boots. I'm going to give him 5k. I have to do it quick, right? Because otherwise... Okay, watch, watch quickly. Boom. <laughs> Hope he doesn't notice. Oh, wait. Nocturnal. I don't think he noticed. Okay, so now we need to get a super dragon gem. What I've got a normal one. We need to get a super dragon gem from uh, Darks. Or we can just go buy one from him. Oh, I think he's noticing. Run away, run away, run away. <laughs> he's noticed. I think he's noticed. <laughs> he noticed. Let's just run away. Forget about it. I just won't respond. <laughs> run away. All right. Um... <laughs> you noticed as well. This, yeah, just get away. All right, there we go. So we've got a Super Dragon Gem now. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore him. All right, we've got Super Boots. So I've already got, I've got Elite plus two, right? So that's sixty four dodge. These ones have fifty six. So I don't know why he gave me Super Boots, but it's at least now I'm full Super. I need to now plus two these. Um, okay, I'll keep on the, okay, we'll keep on the, the, the super boots, because at least it's nice of him to give it, and I'm just not going to respond to him now. Uh, Nox, if you're watching this video afterwards, I apologize, but I don't want you to give me the 5 million back. And yeah, let's now go to, uh, Phoenix Castle, fly. That is funny, right? He didn't actually notice. I did that. I did that quick. <laughs> All right. Um, da, da, da. So, boom. Look at that, guys. So, in this video, we've got two. Oh, wait. If I go into market now, he'll see me. Although, maybe he won't recognize me like that. Let's, oh, wait. Flying is a bit bait. Maybe if I jump quickly. Okay. Hopefully, they doesn't notice me. So now I can stick this um, super coat. I could sell it, which would probably make sense. But let's just stick it on this other archer. Um, although it's probably going to bring attention to me again. I should probably sell it, right? I mean, what do I? I don't. I don't have any need for it. Um. What do you think? Should I sell it? I don't know if anyone's going to buy it. If I put it on this account, I'll probably forget about it. It makes sense for me to sell it. And then use that money to try and buy more stuff, right? Okay, but I don't really know much about the market price for stuff. Especially plus ones and stuff like that. I don't really know anything about it. So, let's just put it on this account for now. Um... And then we can go from there. Because I don't know if you paid me or I had the money in my inventory. I'm just not going to respond. That's the best way. <laughs> oh, I can't even. I have. I'm not. I can't wear it because I haven't um, used the Met Box to upgrade this account. So that's fine. Let's just. I need to get. Um, I need to become Archer Master. And I think I need to use the. Or maybe you give a Meteor and you get a Met Box. I'm not sure, I can't remember. But that's fine. We'll just keep it back in this account and then we'll probably sell it. Because there's no point spending like 2 million upgrading this account to an art, to a thing. Um, as long as Nox isn't around me, which he's not, 
And that's all good. Let's just see if I can... Is it worth plus in the coat? Can I... So now I don't have much money. I've got 4 million left. Um... I wonder if he knows that I'm ignoring him. Or he's not sure. So I actually... I'm a dumb dumb. I actually sold this coat for super cheap. Like, I don't know. 1 million or something like that. And so someone's uh, bought it. Plus 2... I'm not really sure how plusing works on this server. Although I have plused my gear in the past. I, that was all in 2019. I haven't plused anything recently. I, I think I should get out of market because I don't I don't want him to. I think he's gonna know. Yeah, Nox, if you're watching this, apologize. I apologize. Um Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, I'm well happy that, you know, got another dragon gem. That was very nice of him to get that coat for me. Um, oh, you know what? Should we do something crazy? Should we try try t these two Mets on it? Go on, why not? Let's stick, let's, <laughs> let's stick these two Mets on it and see if it will, um, if it will go to, um, imagine I two socked it. That would be nuts, right? I'd go nuts. Right, let's have our desert city scroll ready. And uh, we'll go to Twin City. Let's uh, fly. Come on. Upgrade card. And one more minute. Let's go. Nope, upgrade failed. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, now we need to go back to... Uh, go back to the market, right? He's going to recognize me. Basically, I'm just planning on pretending to be AFK. He doesn't see me, and then... I can just be like, oops, AFK. Okay, so let's stick Tony back in TG, and then, although he knows this account as well. Oh, he, <laughs> he, 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 he's whispered me on this account. Oh, man. See, that's what I was saying to you. I was avoiding him well, man. <laughs> I was ignoring you. Then you saw. <laughs> That's funny, man. Yeah, I paid. <laughs> Alright, let's just get away from him anyways. If I just go. What can you do? You can't force me to take it, right? Um, Bird Island. All right, let's see if, um, wait, maybe it's responding on there. And he goes, oh, thanks, man. I'll take it. He accepted it. Yeah, welcome getting that super and higher. The, uh, you mean the coat? Getting the coat super? He's responding on there because... Huge improvement. Uh, let's see if I one hit Birdman. Yes! Yes, look at that man. One hit in these guys. This is brilliant, man. Yes! I'm well happy. Okay, now here's another question. Do they hit me for one? Should do, right? Interestingly, oh, is that two? Was that two? That was disgusting. They hit me for two. It, what's interesting is you you can't get level 120 uh, necklace on this. Um, although they hit me for two now. 
So you can't get a level 120 necklace on this, which I think is cool. Again, I'm I'm up for people having as high of an attack as they want, as long as I can still do damage as a weak Trojan. If I'm like a level 130 Trojan with like super plus three weapons, right? And let's say a few super dragon gems, can I still do damage to um can I still do damage to other Trojans? If I can't, then for me, like the game is a bit pointless because then that means basically I can't have fun playing the game until um, until I've been playing for two years and I've got all, you know, super plus eights and I've maxed my gear out like they have. So, yeah. Well, another, another thing I like is I actually like tortoise gems, but I don't like the fact that you can get like minus seven on all your gear. And on this server, there's none of that minus seven, minus five crap. So, you know, I don't mind if they added, there's no tortoise gems at all in the server, but I don't mind if they added tortoise gems in the sense that then that way waters could load up on tortoise gems, but then at least they're not loaded up on super dragon gems or Nyx, Nyx gems as well at the same time. So they could load up on tortoise gems and then uh, I, would, I wouldn't be able to do that much damage to them. So there'd be like a tank water. Which, again, I'm okay with. As long as they don't then go around one-hitting me everywhere as well. Which, that's what happened at uh, the end of Retail CEO when I eventually retired. Which was in, like, 2009. There was waters that I was hitting that would die in three hits and they would one-hit me. What kind of madness is that? You're talking about they can stick themselves, rev themselves. They got Reflect from Warrior. They can one-hit me and I three-hit them. <laughs> that's just crazy. So... Um, yeah, I'm alright with Torso Gems, but again, I really like this server, the fact that they've just kept it legit. Uh, no Torso Gems, no Minusing, or I think it's called Blessing, right? Where you bless your equipment. They don't even have the Enchanted Gem stuff here as well, which is cool. Alright, I just realised I'm currently jumping around killing things, and I'm not P-leveling these bloody Miners. So let's do that. Um, that's funny. I thought Nox was going to say that, you know, here, make sure you take it back. But I'm glad he, um, the guys helped me out loads, man. You know, nothing wrong with taking money for all your help as well. Okay, so we've got all the noobs following again. Although, probably should set them up in um, Phoenix Castle. Or at least, oh, actually, you know what I think I can do? My minor hitman is actually uh, VIP. So I think I can go into market and get double EXP. If I'm not mistaken. Get double EXP. Yes, please. There you go. Look at that. So at least now on this account, I've got double EXP. So currently level 59. I'd like to get it. Uh, at least if I can get this account to level 70. Have the other miners in um in Twin City, that's fine. At least I've got one there and then maybe like tomorrow get these guys up to level uh what do you call it? Get them up to level seventy. Um so let's just slow down my clicking on the left one. It's really cool like how you can customize this and then so now let's try this. Close this. I'll even I'll slow it down even more actually. Let's go to two seconds. For me, like an auto clicker is like essential when I'm playing Conquer because I I spent my whole teenage years, man, clicking away like crazy on this game. And um my hand is bad. I'm twenty nine years old now and yeah man. I spend all day on my computer for work. I work full time from home on my desk all day and then at the same time I study electrical engineering so I'm doing programming and loads of other crap like all using my hands on a mouse so I ain't trying to spend all day at the same time again clicking all day so like now I'm talking to you guys I've got my hand off my mouse and this dude's just jumping around right clicking left clicking it's perfect why would any GM of a server have a problem with this you know I'm not AFK, I'm sitting right by my screen. 
I'm just bloody saving, looking after my hand. Do these GMs want me to be crippled? If I'm crippled, how am I going to work to pay for their VIP? So yeah, I don't know. I don't see how anyone could have a problem with it. A meteor has dropped. Oh, it's beautiful. Look, I one hit them and now they, they, the noobs have like no chance of getting uh, killed. I say that and they're going to get whacked, aren't they? Oh, plus one iron glaive has dropped. Makes this weird ding when you pick it up as well, which is interesting. I've tried to, you know, you, you yeah, it's got Gona, oh, Ganodima. I've never known how to pronounce that in my life. Titan and Ganodima, when they appear in the forest and in the, uh, the canyon. But I've tried to go get them sometimes, and I think people are just like, they, they know what time they're, they're spawning. So they're obviously there the second that they spawn, or even before they spawn. So I haven't been able to... Um, to get them it seems like they spawned 15 minutes past every hour if you uh if you know when that titan and the other thing ganodema the big scorpion thing if you know when they spawn uh please leave a comment i believe it's 15 minutes past every hour but it might be 15 minutes past every two or three hours i don't know oh i've had, I've had some comments as well about my resolution I'm playing on a 32 inch TV, so it's, um, it, you know, my screen generally on Windows is quite zoomed out. I've got some weird, like, dodgy resolution, but that's why you, you can see so much of the screen. And I prefer it like that. The only issues I run into are, for example, if I try and jump over here, I'm clicking all over here, it doesn't, it doesn't allow me to jump because that's too far. So that happens a lot. And that's a big problem when you're, um, BKing or PVPing because you'll be jumping around here. You need to know kind of what is your normal space. So the normal space for a screen is like that, right? So if I try and jump like down here, even though technically it looks like I can click there, I can't. So yeah, that's just something to uh, keep in mind. And oddly enough, this size that you're allowed that you can click on is different on different servers. So I noticed on some other private servers, I wasn't able to click anywhere near as fast as far as I can on this server. So, yeah, just be aware of that if you play on the bigger screen. Um, this auto clicker is just the best one. Another one that I've got, which uh, I could show you, but I don't want to empty out my uh, inventory. But basically, I've got this macro recorder. Uh, this thing here is brilliant, man. Um, I run it. Basically, you can record a sequence of mouse clicks. So I use it to drop my whole inventory. Um, someone mentioned that you can get like, was it 4KK or something by hunting for an hour? I'm not sure how you do that. Maybe you would have to pick up all the gold, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I use the macro recorder to empty out my miners' um, inventories now, which is really nice. Again, you just whenever you use these things, just make sure you run them as uh, administrator. Another met. So the plan for me right now with this server, I'm, I'm actually quite motivated to play, especially since I joined this guild, it's, it's made like much more of a difference. So although it's 5 a.m., 5.30 in the morning over here, so it seems a bit empty. You can still see, look, there's that archer down there. He's part of the guild. Um, Nox has been you know, online helping me out uh, this, this crazy time. So, but during the day, like, you know, midday, whatever, uh, or after work times, there are actually a lot of guys online and they're all talking and it's much better to play with more people in the guild and even if i'm not even talking to them just seeing them talk it kind of like makes you feel like you're actually doing something versus 
when I was just playing by myself without a guild, it was a bit dead to be honest with you. So, um, I wasn't really enjoying the game that much, even though I still enjoy all of the nostalgic parts of it. I wasn't really enjoying uh, actual playing it. So, yeah, it's nice now that I've joined the guild. It's, it's very nice, and I really can't wait. I tried to go on to Guild War today, but it was a bit weird and. Um, I have had this experience in the past when I was playing retail CEO where basically sometimes the opposing guild just wouldn't show up. And I think from what I understand, this server has like two or three guilds, main guilds and like their allies. And so the Exodus guild, I believe there are a bunch of guys that have really amazing accounts, but don't actually play that much. Or they play on other servers so i assume that means that sometimes guild war can be hit and miss because guild war was today the final two hours was between 3 p.m and 5 p.m ah my new boomer started <laughs> oh man i wasn't paying attention but yeah uh, guild was between 3 p.m and 5 p.m and so i logged on and i jumped around and there was no one like it was completely empty so um buddy how these hawks are spawning like Look at this dude chasing them. What are you doing? Why are you chasing the noobs, man? I'm alone, man. But yeah, I logged on and uh, there was nothing. But my plan right now is to basically get a level, you know, 110, 120 water. And then use this archer as well. And then just jump around. All the water needs to do is just jump around revving people. And then, you know, whenever you catch like a Trojan on Trojan battle going on. Just use your fire to zap the hell out of the enemy Trojan. That way, you know, obviously, obviously stick some of your guys as well. And then that way your guy can, um, oh, I'm out of arrows. Oh, my days. Run, noobs, run. Run, man. Come on. Oh, dear. They're going to get smacked up. Oh, man. Come on. Run. Run. <laughs> They're making it as well. Come on. Look at that. They made it. Run, you bloody noobs. Run. How the hell do I run out of arrows, man? I look sick. Look, this coat is amazing. Bloody noobs. Come on, noobs. Come on, you made it. All right, well, this is a good time to... Oh, my... I'm knackered, man. I've got that hour double EXP on Hitman. Which I'd like to use. Level 62, man. It's slow. It is bloody slow, isn't it? Um... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Is it worth me continuing? He's got a double XP. Let's we'll carry on for a bit more. Oh, this noob was funny. <laughs> he was asking about gold uh, yesterday. <laughs> you missed all the. Wait, maybe it wasn't her. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Never mind. But someone was asking about gold yesterday. And uh, I was saying that there's a guy, Rotty, dropping a bunch of gold in TC. And then um, people actually started dropping gold, which is quite funny. All right. Um, we'll play for a bit more. We need to turn off these bloody PvP events. Apparently... I've heard people say that the events on this server are really good. I personally haven't played hardly any. Um, again, because I'm mostly playing on an archer, it's a bit pointless. I believe you can play on like a Trojan. It doesn't matter about what gear some of the PvP events. You know, you just have to, for example, hit when it comes to FB in or melee in or sense holding. So, yeah. I could, I could probably start to play them. Again, I haven't really been playing much. I've been super busy, so... But I'm actually quite motivated to play now, especially you know, now I've got a second a second socket in my bow. I've got the one in, in the coat now. So I'm out of money now though, so I need to get these miners going ASAP. Once I get them in DC collecting gold, I should make decent money, man. Because I've been kind of making my money off of selling um fury gems which you know people still buy 
but it seems like the best way to make money would be to just stack all of a bunch of miners and just have them collecting gold ores and then that way just you can just literally just sell all of the ores straight away my bloody tv has restarted again so i might wake up and all the or come back and all the news be dead okay no good they're all still alive all right Funny enough, it seems to only happen in uh, late night. It doesn't really happen during the day. I wonder, I wonder, it doesn't really make sense. Ah, oh, die, you basket. Move. Oh, yes. Thought he was going to kill him. All right, peoples. Oh, I actually also found out, um, because obviously when I'm playing, I'm just, when I'm playing by myself and I'm recording and I'm, you know, uploading to youtube i'm always asking a bunch of questions and i've got no one to answer them so thankfully again a lot of the nice guys on the server have been uh messaging me with like i heard you ask about marrying male male or male you can do it so yeah this server is a progressive server guys you can marry male characters in 2021 if you're a male archer so that's nice i'm glad i didn't create a female archer ah Ah! Oh, the warrior got hit with 591. Oh, oh yes. Come on. We're still alive. Ah! Quickly! Man. Okay. We made it. This this bit here is a bit manic. What is an, a unique archer hat? Thanks, uh, my auto clicker. I can't really get it. There we go. I'm very happy, man. I feel very satisfied. I'm going to sleep well tonight, this morning, whatever you want to call it. Look at that. I can actually one hit mobs in, 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 in Bird Island. How fantastic is that? Obviously, I wouldn't be able to one hit Hawk Kings yet, but to do that, I'm not really sure what, what would be the next attack thing that i could upgrade it'd probably be plus four in my bow uh i think plus three in the ring is a plus four in the ring is probably out of the question just because um obviously everybody needs an attack ring right so rings are super expensive so yeah um I mean, as I P-level more and more mobs, like, you know, especially I'm thinking to, you know, you know, get some rainbow gear. Because the, the easiest rainbow gear that you can get is obviously a small a level 5 blade, right? Which you can just hunt for them in Twin City yourself. Get 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them. And then just buy a bunch of rainbow gems. And then at least, even if you just have the minimum rainbow gem, you've at least got, what is it, like 10%? Uh, so that's 20% EXP right there. Uh, additional. And then obviously you can do the marry thing. Funny enough, oh, I don't think those... I think those waters that I P-leveled last time, they're not level 70 yet either. So... Hmm. What might be best is to just make miners that are archers because obviously i'm obviously crap at p leveling right um so maybe it might make sense to make archers and just leave them all in tg right and then they'll get to level 70 fairly quickly in tg anyways probably in a few days and then just use those as um as miners because obviously waters just they just can't level by themselves at all you put them in TG, they don't do anything. So that might make sense. Gold, glorious gold. You don't know where to find it. What's that, like Oliver? I don't even know how that came randomly came to me. Alright, my neck is telling me that I'm done. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's just a blade with two socks. That's a bit annoying. It's probably worth like 
instead of alerting you to any level two sock items it probably makes more sense to set a limit on it like level 15 or whatever is anyone interested in finding a normal two sock level 110 blade or something Even though I've got an auto click, I'm still bloody clicking like a dumbo. The auto clicker is definitely a massive help. And if I had a stack, it would be a lot better. But because I've got the noobs walking around, the auto clicker is not the best. Because once I take my concentration off, they get whacked. all right so hunting wise this has not been the best like i haven't found i don't think i've found that much you can correct me if i'm wrong let me uh open up my inventory so what have i got i've got two four six mets one unique uh club uh i think two plus one um two handers and yeah, that's it. That's it, really. And I'm on what five thousand kills. So not the best hunting wise. And I think that's where you know it's good if you can integrate hunting into P leveling. Then at least you're achieving two things at once, right? Um. Oh, actually, what another <laughs> funny thing is that if you watch my other video, where I was, I was level 129 on this account, and I was trying to level to 130. I was like 85, 90% or something. Or uh, maybe like, I think 80%. So I went, I was in, I was at Basilisk and there was this, war, there was this warrior that was leveling as well. And I was like, ah, oh, crap, man. If I thought she was going to kill me, basically. And, um, turns out, you know, Nox, the guy that was helping me out get this coat, that's his missus. And so she actually was leveling herself, right? And she was using rented gear. And so you actually can't PK with rented gear i didn't know that yeah, that's funny i wonder if it's if okay you guys ask answer this if you know yeah if i rent a ring can i attack someone and if i do attack someone then is the rings attack not included in the damage that i do to that person or you know is it just that i just can't attack because she said that because she had whatever it was a rented club she wasn't able to attack me so I was freaking out for no reason, basically. Another cool thing I found out is that and I probably should do like an individual video on this because I think the renting system on this is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And she was saying, or was it her? Someone else was, I think it might be Knox, was saying that if you rent from guildies, so your, your fellow guild members, and you rent their gear, you actually get a discount. So that's really cool. Um... Oh yeah, and a bunch of people messaged me about this as well, actually. About the repair, the high repair cost thing. That made a big deal out of that. So I rented a level 130 bow and it was 50k an hour to rent the bow. But then they charged me 200, well not they. Oh my gosh, she's going to die. Yes. I knew it was going to die. Anyways, uh, the server charged me 200k to repair the bow. And obviously it doesn't cost 200k to repair a bow. That's a joke. But you have to... And I don't, I don't, I still don't understand this. It doesn't make sense to me. I get it in the sense that like, fine, you have to basically pay the max cost as if you was reducing the durability down to zero, but that doesn't make any sense. Like you could just make it so that, for example, once the durability goes to zero, then it returns back to the rental system and you lose the item, right? So the item's not physically destroyed. The owner of the item still has it, but you've lost it now because you let it break. <clears throat> pardon me um but what they do instead is even though i only used i used i don't think i got the durability on that bow down at all right i've used it for less than an hour but i got charged full price for it so that's what i call a rip off but actually interesting if you guys know let me know as well um does the owner of the item get the the repair costs because if not then that's just money that's just been eaten by the server which is a bit random right what's the point in burning the the gold 
But most people just said don't rent level 130 items. But that kind of defeats the purpose for me because, for example, when I'm a Trojan and I've got, I'm level 130, 100%, like, I'm not going to spend dough on, um, on, um, doing up my own weapons. Forget that, bruv. I'm, like, I'm just going to rent people's, people's weapons. Makes sense, right? All I've all I got to do is just get the weapon and, uh, rent it two days before Guild War. Plus six club or something. Boom. I can just do that until eventually I've got my own club. But whatever it costs, you know, 100k, you know, worth it. I mean, what's 100k if you've got a level 130 Trojan? So, yeah. Uh, that's all I can remember for now. My brain's kind of going to fudge. 5.35 in the morning. Oh, bloody messenger. Allow it. No, relax. At least, it's, at least the messenger's hitting me and not my noobs. I think Hitman's only level 65. Someone actually offered to um, <clears throat> help me get level 70 miners. And I need to message him, but I can't remember how to spell his name. I don't want to say who it is because maybe the man I want me to say. But uh, I'm looking at, I keep looking out for him in-game. It's like his name has some... Um, like either question mark or apostrophe or something in it. I tried to message him a few times, but I just keep getting like person's not logged in or it doesn't exist, whatever. But yeah, the guy offered to, he said like basically make free, free accounts, give him the username and password, and then it obviously not the same as the one that I use for my other accounts. And then he'll actually level those waters to level seventy for me, which is just amazing. Like like, I mean that's. There was, there's no need for someone to do that. And, you know, like I said, I can't even spell the guy's name. So it's not like I, I don't talk to him all the time, but I spoke to him a few times. And like, as I said this time and time again, for me, this server in terms of, you know, all the rules, the GM, the people that play it, fantastic, man. I can't see, for me, I don't see myself playing another server. This is like, this is pure nostalgia to me because, you know, I'm I'm hearing that you got some super toxic weirdos on this server, and that's perfect for me. You know, I need people that I need to kill. I don't want to be friends with everyone. <laughs> and then I'm also hearing that, um, or I'm experiencing some super sound people, which is lovely. Like, who doesn't want to hang out with sound people? And then you know, sound GM. My account's getting better. Original CEO. I don't see myself going anywhere, man. This server is brilliant. When will the game stop being nostalgic? I don't know, man. You'd probably have to go through every area on the map. Like, I was considering just going to lab earlier today just for the fun of it. Like, just go into lab. Even though I'm level 130. Man, do you know how many hours I spent in lab as a, as a kid when I was 15, 16? Man. It's got to be more than like, you know, how many hours in a week? Like 60, 80, 100, I don't even know, 120? <laughs> what is it? 24. Quick maths. 24 times 7. So it's less than 240 because that's 10. So it was like 160, 180 hours, right? So probably if you go like 10 weeks, 1,800. Definitely I spent over 2,000 hours in lab, 100%. Because I actually, I leveled my original Trojan, which was a tro tro tro. Level 123, 130, 115, 119, something like that, right? The Pro Tro Tro. That was my original account. And um, I leveled that all purely, no archer, nothing, all myself grinding, uh, most of it in lab. So, how many hours would that take? All right. Anyways, I'm sure I've bored the hell out of most of you guys. I apologize. Um,. I've had a blast this video though. Absolute blast. Shout out to Nox for helping me out. Um, shout out to everybody else. I can't remember that archer's name. Bloody hell. Um, I think she might be here. Uh, not not, uh, not Darks. Not Sicario. Shout out to Sicario for giving me, sending me two Super Dragon Gems. Project Mayhem. That's it. Shout out to her for the DBs. Much appreciated. And yeah. I shall catch you guys in the next one. I'm just going to stick these dudes back in the mine now. 
um, put them to work like teenagers back in the 1940s. They have like 14 year olds in the mines, which is nuts. And they, those guys had a tough life. Anyways, before we get deep, <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.